One, two, and three. What's going on, guys? Welcome. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Noceria Podcast. This is episode 21. 21. We're 21. back at the OG place, 21, right? 20, where, 21, 21. where it all started. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. Yeah, we're back in the old place. Yeah, back in the old place where it all started, man. All right, so last episode, we kind of brought up hypnosis. Mm -hmm. So today's episode is going to be revolving around hypnosis. Yeah. And, uh, is that actually true? Like, you know, is that stuff like actually, you know, stuff that can actually happen? Yeah. You know, because I, you you always see it and, and you're like, ah, yeah. I don't think that that could happen to me, you know? Yeah, because yeah, I mean, it, I, I feel like it depends on like um, how deep into it you get into it, if that makes any sense. Like mm -hmm. you can always be just so hard headed and be like, nah, it's not going to work. It's not going to work and it's not going to work. Right. But if you kind of just set your mood into like, OK. Let, let me settle down let me mm -hmm. chill it's kind of like um meditating mm -hmm. if you don't if you just kind of like just stand there and you mm -hmm. think oh i'm gonna meditate and you really don't get into the zone you're not gonna mm -hmm. you're not gonna get meditated yeah so that's actually true because hypnosis is actually like whenever you know whenever you just kind of let, let go relax mm -hmm. you know you kind of just dive into it you know you just kind of like let yourself get into that state of being able to you know get hypnotized you know, you got to be more uh, open minded, be be open to suggestions and stuff like that. Yeah. And, um, you know, I've seen some cases where it actually does, you know, it does actually work. You know, it usually people, whenever they seek uh, hypnotherapies because they're either dealing with an addiction, mm -hmm. they're addicted to smoking, maybe they have depression, anxiety and stuff like that. So, you know, um, it's been known to work and it actually has been around for a while, mm -hmm. for a long time. Um, but there is some stories that I read that kind of make you think twice before even going and pursuing getting hypnotherapy. Really? Yeah. Do you guys want to hear the first story? Sure. So the first story that I read was about this um, this woman, right? She dealt with depression and anxiety. And obviously, like I mentioned, Reddit, they don't really show too many details or mm -hmm. anything like that um, as far as names and stuff. But that person dealt with anxiety and depression. She wanted to seek some sort of help. Yeah. So she went to, um, you know, to go and meet with a, a hypnotist, right? They did some therapy on her. And in that therapy, the hypnotist was, per was you know, helping out and kind of just like trying to trying to go through the process of the usual process that they do. But she he was also trying to make her believe that she had gotten sexually assaulted in the past. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and she was like kind of confused, but she was like, did I, you know, mm -hmm. like she, the guy wasn't, you know, pushing that narrative that she had sexually gotten assaulted in the past, but she, she just couldn't remember, but he kept on pushing and pushing and pushing. And she was, she was kind of like, you know, she just felt like she was getting traumatized by okay. the guy. Like what, you know, what was going on? She said that, um, it said that supposedly she was like getting like push, push to believe that, that she ended up getting a panic attack and she went to the hospital. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. It, it was that deep. Yeah, but she, she didn't pass away, but whenever she recovered from it, she was just traumatized and it sucks because she, like I said, she ended up seeking help and she just got traumatized even more. Mm. Wow. You know? Yeah, that sucks. It, yeah. And she even took legal actions and, and you know, uh, I guess the hypnotist, like they revoked his license. Mm -hmm. and, oh, really? Yeah. So he's not able to do that anymore, but, which is I good. Mean, I mean, if you think about it, man, like imagine being um, traumatized like that, you wouldn't want to really go and and seek help anymore right you would have to like live your whole life with that type of trauma because you don't you can't really believe nobody no more it, Plus, that's exactly. whatever that happens mm -hmm. yeah so you you end up getting worse and that's kind of one of those things where that's like getting kidnapped escaping mm -hmm. flagging down a police and he kidnaps you again there's yeah. a movie like that really? there's legitimately a movie like that oh my god yeah. you know there's a there's a not to get off topic there's a Netflix documentary. I don't know if you remember. It's, I think it's called Tell Me Who I Am. Mm -hmm. and it's about two twin brothers, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And they were not talking to each other for years. Okay. But they decided to get together and do a documentary. And when the, one of the twins was 18 years old, he got mm -hmm. in a motorcycle accident and he lost his memory. Right. So the brother told him he had to kind of remind him who he is and what he's, you know what I mean, while his childhood was and all that. But he noticed that the brother hated the mom, hated the dad, and he didn't like that about his brother. So they kind of they kind of stopped. Something happened. They got in a fight. They never talked to each other. So now the, that was when they were in their 20s, 
now they're like late 50s mm -hmm. okay. so they finally got together and they're like man you need to tell me who i am this and that like why why what happened he never told him he never told him he always asked him, man well, why why don't you, do you have secrets tell me what, what's going on and the guy the brother never told him and he's like finally i'm gonna I'm tell you what's going on so mm -hmm. he, he sat him down he was telling him you know so all our childhood we were sexually assaulted by our parents they they used to they used to grab us i remember they used to take us to these people they used to sexually um assault us i remember i'll have to like run home but naked to my mom and she would just tell me to go to sleep and this and that this was going on all our youth so when you got in a car accident and you lost your memory i kind of took advantage of that to try to like not bring that up and have like at least one of us have a regular life where wow. it's not messed up mm -hmm. and they just start crying they're like man i didn't know that I, you know Damn. You, you, should have told me that's it that's a good little um but his whole life he lived thinking his brothers are like yeah like he's something wrong with him he don't why don't you like my parents you know what i mean mm -hmm. but he was he was like just trying to help him out the whole time and wow. he was willing to sacrifice his whole relationship with him for all those years just so he can have some sort of regular life because he yeah. was all messed up dude wow so what do you call whenever you go, for example, you go to a church and you see these people going crazy, right? And then the pastor touches you, and next thing you know, you start walking. Is that hypnosis or is that legit? Does that consider mm. hypnosis? You talking about like the Holy Spirit? And stuff yeah, like that? you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, technically, it's like it's it's making you believe that you're able to do something that you might not think that you're able to. And so in a way, maybe it's like their but way what of if, hypnotizing you. What if um, I'm a big believer on manifestation? Like, like for example, if I feel like, damn, I feel like I'm going to get sick. I I purposely tell myself, nah, you're not going to get sick. Yeah. In my brain, I'm just like, you're not going to get sick. So mm -hmm. don't even think about getting sick. And then I don't get sick. Yeah. But mm -hmm. there's times where I feel like I'm getting sick and I kind of fall. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ah, oh, damn, I'm going to get sick. And I get sick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. So you, you see what I'm saying? So I feel like maybe when you believe in something so much and you just let your body go and he touches you, yeah, your mind kind of programs it to do it. Mm -hmm. So is it, you know what I mean? I know what you're saying. And and like it, you can kind of say like how the brain, the mind and everything kind of like it's so it's it's something that we don't really know of. Like we have little knowledge in how that works as far as like how much we can actually do uh, and like you said you just mentioned as far as believing in something so much that if if you were just to do that and just believe that you're going to be able to do it you might be able to do it but mm -hmm. but but whenever you go in it knowing that there might be a chance that um i don't think i'm going to be able to do it exactly you're already lost mm -hmm. you know exactly what I'm that's what i'm saying it's, it's like manifestation yeah so I, i'm a big believer on that as well but i also believe that you yourself can you yourself are real harmful to yourself and that makes sense oh, do you, does that make sense yeah, you know yeah. obviously like 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 your mind can can drive you crazy oh man it bro. will yeah like me for example i have like no patience mm -hmm. in, in a specific way where if i'm driving i need to get to where i'm going fast and i don't want to spend time like if somebody misses the red light i'm fucking mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah mm -hmm. and i feel like i do that to myself there's no point in it but i do it to myself yeah. And, and I feel my face, my everything. And I and for example, stress. I mm. cause you could just chill, relax, let your body relax. But I, I put so much stress on myself mm -hmm. that my whole hair is turning white. I'm going bald. You know yeah, what I mean? Dude. Stuff like that. Yeah. But you do it to yourself. Where yeah. I could I could just relax and chill. You know? But I don't know. I, I worry too much about the stuff that uh, yeah, maybe yeah. you should worry about it, but not as much as you should. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. Okay. So I, I feel that, like I do it to myself. So that's that's an example. I would say it's so. the same shit with the confidence. Yeah. You know, if you don't have no confidence, your whole self esteem is gonna go down. You're gonna be like, uh, I can't do this. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. But if you can be confident, then you're gonna do more than you should. Yeah. No. I would that, like um, to get hypnotized to kind of just say, hey, man. But then again, I don't want to because I am who I am because of what I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. What if you? What if I get hypnotized to, hey, don't worry about it no more? And yeah. Then you know what I mean. I'm gonna like not care about stuff no more. And yeah. I'm gonna lose everything. You know what I mean? It's like it's like people that have like ADD or something like that, where they're constantly like you know hyperactive. They need to do something. Their mind is so like like on a hundred percent all the time that whenever they do seek medical treatment. And they put them on medication they're just a completely different person like they mm -hmm. lose who they really are mm -hmm. you know what i mean so it's always better to just kind of deal with what you know pretty much god gave you and, and be able to work with what you have instead of having to change you like you said like imagine getting hypnotized right 
and you're just a totally different person. You know, you the 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 hypnot the hypnotist might have helped you as far as getting over maybe a fear, maybe an addiction, mm -hmm. but now you're like something that that you used to have that was part of you is gone and you know what i mean yeah yeah so everything everything all those traits those those little yeah. funny things they all make who you are mm -hmm. you know what i mean so if you take one of those little things from the domino yeah you, you you're it different. doesn't it doesn't it's not, it's not the same no more yeah 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 talking about hypnosis like mm -hmm. all the the traits of that of like pretty much somebody telling you oh you know you did this or you didn't do that and it's pretty much you know making your, your mind think something different than what you normally know uh-huh I, I would say that's kind of similar as like brainwashing somebody. What yeah. do you think? Because I think like, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah because it like, has like, to be the same thing. Right? Yeah, because I mean, if, if you, it's kind of like anything in the world right now. If somebody puts something in front of you, you're going to believe it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you don't know what's actually really going on or what's actually going on. Mm -hmm. They can do or tell you, oh, you know, uh, money's running out or you got to do this and you got to do that. In your instant, you're not going to be like, no, that's not true. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, okay, let's go do this and do mm -hmm. that. But I did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. It's, for example, let's say, you good, bro. You good. let's say there's two doors in front of you. Yeah. And you don't know what's behind them. Yeah. But the big guy knows what's behind them. Mm -hmm. But on this door, he puts a hundred bucks in front of it. Which one are you going to go to? The one in a hundred. Exactly. Yeah. So, for example, the government when the whole coronavirus stuff was going on they gave us stimulus checks what if that's them putting that money in front of that door hey go this way mm -hmm. don't look over here though mm -hmm. so everybody's talking about the stimulus this and that this and that but yeah. in reality in the background that money that they gave us when you look at those packages mm -hmm. not to like maybe we might get hit markered and all this stuff and we're gonna probably get assassinated <laughs> but they have to create a a, a stimulus package yeah okay this is like 2.23 trillion or whatever. I don't remember how much that stimulus package is, right? Mm -hmm. This many billions is going to stimulus checks. And when you see that, you're like, oh, shit, badass, cool. But you don't read the other stuff that's inside that package also. You okay. know? Maybe this is going to happen. That's, you know, 401k is going to mm -hmm. go down to 3% or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff like that. Yeah, but your brain is just on you're the money. You're just looking at that money. Mm -hmm. You don't give a... Do, do you know anything about that? No, that's, I don't. But, yeah, you, I do. but you do know about the stimulus check, mm -hmm. right? Because you got brainwashed. So... Some of those people, Congress people, they have these like um, researchers researching things that they're doing, you know, research this and that. Mm -hmm. Well, they got like, hey, you get a billion, you get a billion, you get a billion. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, that's you got a billion dollars off of that. Right. But you don't know that. Mm -hmm. You didn't see that. But you saw that stimulus check. So so you're saying it's pretty much distractions as exactly, well. Exactly, right? bro. Hypnos hypnosis, brainwash distractions i would say even hand influence in hand. and influence right? right like i mean all words meaning the same thing pretty mm -hmm. much right like if you think about it you're talking about distraction right there's so many stuff that like you said like i don't know if you guys ever heard that saying like be careful what you sign read the whole you know exactly. papers yeah. like that like when you see those commercials yeah. like hey like, this pill um it gives you wings mm -hmm. and then at the and end then you then say that, my God, like that. stuff that, that happens you don't yeah. hear that you're still stuck on that oh shit i'm gonna get wings yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's, <laughs> I'm all shit. but yeah, I, I think um, when you're talking about distraction and brainwash, you do you're seeing it in your everyday life, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, but those people they're smart, dude, right? Yeah. Ooh. Like you got to be smart in order to brainwash somebody like that yeah. in that level. It's even yeah, learning, bro. Like mm -hmm. I don't know if that makes sense, but learning something, mm -hmm. you're gonna only learn it that way, right? When there's probably a better way of doing it, you mm. know what I'm talking about, bro. Speaking of that, that's a good topic. What? So I have kids. Yeah, I they ask for me for homework help, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bro. What are they learning? Like this is <laughs> not what I learned. Why mm -hmm. would it change? Mm -hmm. Like I would understand if it becomes easier, but no. Nah, like if you do a division, how do you do it? Yeah. How did you learn how to do divisions? The number with the little yeah. line and the mm -hmm. top. Yeah. And you, That's not bro, the they, they have they gotta so do many this, steps They got to do this whole chart and put all yeah. these numbers and just to get one out. Like, bro, what the heck? And yeah. I can't I can't teach you the way I got taught or else it's not going to count because they need to show the steps of how they're learning. Yeah. So why are they learning? Why are they teaching them a different way where if something's not broke, don't fix it? Or if you can do something, like, that's not better. You, you know why, though? Because they're they're a different generation and they're trying to teach them a specific different way. But what if that's some sort of brainwashing where No, I think the reason is that 
if you think about it, technology is way more advanced now that any kid can probably just have a phone and look for the answer. But what they want is to be able to have you do no. all the steps so they know for sure that you didn't copy or you didn't just I know, bullshit. But, th but the steps that we used to take mm -hmm. are easier. It was like, like one, two, three. Now exactly. they have to do like one exactly. through ten. Exactly. Like why though? Like it's not that it's, it's yeah. not it's not easier. It's longer. So mm -hmm. why even teach you that way? But that's what I'm saying. Like like if if you were to tell me, hey, no, but I know, but do, but, but, do but that's still the answer though, and it's the correct way of yeah, doing it. But yeah, but for them, it, yeah. it's, 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 for example, like like uh this uh the software uh not software the AI thing the yeah. chat G G G P or whatever it's called, mm -hmm. um they're doing new rules now in school to be able to like um come up with some sort of software or something that detects that if that information came from that AI software. Oh, really? You know what I mean? So, so stuff changes because that's their way of finding out if that student's actually cheating. Yeah. But, but I, I guess I'm just but, getting but, technical, but, but, but I see what I, you're saying. I can't just do one plus one equals two. I got to do this one. Yeah. I got to draw a whole fucking edificio, mm -hmm. another edificio with 20 windows on each one and yeah. with a plus sign mm -hmm, and then yeah. clown each window divided by, you know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. One plus one equals two. Yeah. yeah. But you just brought up like you're, you're you know, you're a dad, you have your, your kids what what about like whenever you're teaching your kids right like mm -hmm. whenever you teach your kids is that in some sort of way um hypnotizing them to obviously believe in what you think you know it what has I mean? to be bro so we, brainwashing them yeah, to think what yeah, what to. you think because because i mean i can be taught something that that i think is right because my dad taught me that but then you know my friend over here thinks that everything that i was taught is completely wrong yeah, because cause, because cause, they're a different religion. Or yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were taught different. Yeah. Bro, it's the it, same shit as, as like the homework you're saying. Maybe it's different teachers. Maybe this teacher is actually doing that little square and mm -hmm. doing that way, the way that we learn. But maybe that teacher learned it a different way from a different teacher. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, she's doing the same, the exact same thing to those kids now. Right. Yeah, but, but I mean, a good example is like I, I, I've been living with my wife and kids for years alone mm -hmm. and we went to my mom's house and we are a specific way of you know we have two different families now yeah mm -hmm. see what i'm saying uh-huh but my kids are raised way different than her kids yeah right. so whenever we do something to our kids you could tell my mom's like don't do that that's you know like but then again it's our kids yeah we raise them how we want and 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 i mean we like the way they are you know what i mean yeah maybe it's not the same way you taught us but it's the way we doing it because that's that's what it is that's what yeah we, that's Obviously. what worked for us mm -hmm. and then you know I mean? and then you have your parents think putting stuff in your head making you think that the yeah. way you're raising your kids is not right which is their own way of brainwashing you to think that exactly you're doing the wrong it's not, thing it's not that it's not right it's, it's not just, just not it's right just to you because it's not the way you did it yeah it's the way i'm doing it but we mm -hmm. have the same outcome it's the same shit saying? as like racism uh, 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 like a racist you know parents they're gonna teach their kids to also have those racist mm -hmm. you know thoughts it, mm -hmm. it depends on obviously if the kids influenced by her their friends if they have you know other uh ethnicity friends then they're not they're probably not gonna be racist yeah. but if they're in an all white school or in an all mexican school or whatever it is yeah you know they're going to look at their parents and be like okay you don't like this specific race I'm not going to like it either. Yeah. You know, even though you don't know anything about it, you're still going to be like brainwashed by your parents mm -hmm. telling you don't trust those people because they're going to do this or don't trust those other people because they're going to do that. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of like influenced by your parents. They're going to teach yeah. you whatever you, whatever they think it's beneficial for them to yeah. make you pretty much like them. Yeah. All right. So we touched on like brainwashing distractions and all this stuff, but do you guys think like you can actually use hypnosis as maybe some sort of weapon obviously mm -hmm. i mean imagine being able to go on live television and, and having a tactic of of i guess hypnosis mm -hmm. where you make everybody pretty much do something that you want them to do mm -hmm. whatever it is right. like oh hey everybody get out of that your house and i want you to go and grab your nearest weapon and start shooting people mm-hmm i'm not saying that's right right you're just know? giving an example yeah i think dude it's funny that you bring it up i think uh, not too long ago not, not i don't need that uh, damn <laughs> <laughs> actually i think it was like a long long time ago right yeah um there was actually a video that was sent out on tvs right like it was just programmed on the tv that was like um kind of like it seemed like a, a weird kind of like hacking type of video mm -hmm. where 
I think a lot of people felt like it was one of those things where it was just like somebody trying to hypnotize people into doing stuff. But yeah, what, what about you? You think that um, it can actually be a weapon or something like that? You can weaponize making people think that, you know, Whatever. something some, something that they want you to believe and, you know, make you do something crazy or something. Maybe. Um, what if what if I don't want to I kind of don't want to talk about it because maybe it's like wrong to say. But what if Russia and 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 um, Ukraine Ukraine are in cahoots, mm -hmm. and they're doing this whole story mm -hmm. to kind of brainwash the United yeah. States? I think somebody oh, said that right. Yeah, we were kind of talking about to it. kind of go into war, and yeah. then at the end they're gonna, you know what I mean, to it, try to take out the United States. It's pretty much like what if that's us. a way of brainwashing, luring us, brainwashing mm -hmm. everybody, the whole world mm -hmm. to think what's going on in reality. You know what I mean? Maybe that's yeah. something. Another smaller scale, maybe. Like the whole Andrew Tate, maybe mm -hmm. it's a way of him brainwashing the youth to think these different types of ways. Mm -hmm. And then the whoever's in charge kind of took him out because he's a threat using it as a weapon. Mm -hmm. maybe, influence. Maybe. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Because, I mean, like, I would say that's kind of influence because let's just say kind of like. You uh, can start a war. That or kind of like the Logan Paul thing also mm -hmm. when he's pretty much promoting this type of crypto or, or anything. Right. Uh, he more than likely sure. Uh, like more than likely sure he's gonna make a big profit off that right. by making us believe i uh, invest in this like give me money people. pretty mm -hmm. much but he's gonna say oh if you invest in this you're gonna make so much money i'm sure there's a bunch of people who probably made a nice amount of money but everybody else who was clueless and was like oh logan paul you're an influence to me let me just invest in it they probably lost a that's lot of a money, lot of money. that's actually I mean? true and i, I think that's, coffee Silla, which way. is another youtuber I, I actually exposed that yeah i mean and changed out the outcome of what was going to happen because I'm pretty sure if nobody had said something and opened their mouth, Logan Paul would have gotten away with it. Mm -hmm. And now he's actually doing something about it. Even even another thing will be kind of like um like you're saying using hypno hypnotize um hypnotize hip hypnotize hypnotize oh, what <laughs> <laughs> hypnotize hypnotize yeah okay hypnotize yeah. people on live television yeah. by making somebody um by making us think that that person committed a certain crime it's kind of mm -hmm. like a judge a yeah. judge can easily uh you know behind the script the scripts i guess mm -hmm. can pretty much just make this whole evidence about this one specific person mm -hmm. to make him seem like he's the suspect or the victim mm -hmm. or i mean uh you know the guilty guy mm -hmm. that killed this person just because they hate him yeah. you, you know what i'm talking yeah to i mean say? there's a lot of people in you jail know? that are falsely accused yes i'm only likely sure and, and most knows? most of them are kind of like you said um yeah. When you're in the when you're being interrogated, mm -hmm. and they kept saying, "So you did kill him around two thirty, right?" They're like, "No, I didn't kill him. I yeah. was over here." But wait, but you say you were over there. It's like, wait, what? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Do you, they start catching you in like yeah. small lies? Yeah. Next, you know, you're confessing to three murders. Yeah. When mm -hmm. you didn't do nothing. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's all right. Just a good ass That's segue. Brainwashing. A good segue from that will be another Reddit story that I actually read. Okay. Which was um so uh, same thing. Another person, you know, wanted to seek uh you know hypnosis as a therapy for him because he was dealing with some sort of addiction i think it was smoking okay yeah he was smoking and he wanted to just kind of quit smoking and the hypnosis ended up making him believe that he had committed a crime oh right mm -hmm. and he kept on pushing and and pushing and pushing to the point where after they were done with their with that therapy um he went home he was like what the hell was that about you know what i mean and it was so in his head, so engraved in his head that she had, he actually believed that he had committed a crime. Oh, he ended up going into the police uh -huh. and, and confessing to a crime that he had committed. Mm -hmm. Wow. The police ended up doing investigations and there was no, no evidence, evidence. to him committing any crime. And mm -hmm. he confessed that he had gotten, you know, therapy for, or, or hypnotherapy from a hip, hypnotist, yeah. hypnotist, I'm sorry. And, um, yeah, sure enough, the same thing. The person made him believe that he had committed a crime, took advantage of his quote unquote powers or, or, mm -hmm. or you know, even hypnosis or whatever. And um, he could have gotten away, you know? Wow. But obviously, like, makes you wonder, like, if I, if I have the ability to be able to hypnotize you and I, and I can commit my crimes and stuff like that and make you yeah. take the blame for me. Be, that's why that's why some of that stuff needs to be kind of like just looked at look out for you know just can't like go in it thinking that you know you're gonna be able to like ah, whatever anyway <laughs> i don't know where i was going with that <laughs> yeah i mean i don't know everything just revolves around 
what you're being <clears throat> influenced by i would assume because mm -hmm. i mean like let's say like the the army you know they're they're teaching you to do this or to to fight this way or mm -hmm. to use a gun this way they could easily switch it around by saying hey anybody that you see kill them mm -hmm. anybody who's this race kill them mm -hmm. and you're gonna be brainwashed you're gonna be influenced by those higher up people who are supposedly giving you money they're yeah. giving you this opportunity and you're a person who maybe have no future because you you joined the army or maybe you were you know whatever the reason why you got into the army or the, the navy whatever it is yeah that, that kind of goes that kind of goes back back to russia like mm -hmm. bro these are guys are over there killing people because the guy's butt hurt so you how how did what did he say to these people as far as brainwashing them goes for you to go to another country and start killing them mm -hmm. besides your ego it's not like hey they 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 nuked us so we're gonna mm -hmm. have to go revenge mm -hmm. it's just this guy's trying to get that land for just because of his own right yeah I that's what we no that's what we heard going on over there mm -hmm. right i'm so close-minded bro i have no idea what's going on over there because there's no inf that, i mean I, i'm pretty sure there's information if you find it but as far as what yeah, we're being just, said is that yeah he wants that land because he mm -hmm. for whatever reason yeah so he's gonna go but, get but, it but look at look at what you're saying right now right who's to say that your their information you're saying it's just information that you read that somebody made you think that that's what's going on. Yeah. And mm -hmm. might, maybe that's not even what's going on. You know? Yeah, we, we, we don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we're, but um, yeah. it's kind of it's kind of yeah. like, I don't know if you've seen that Black Mirror uh, episode. I don't know if we talked about it before, but uh, where they're in the, I don't know if it's like some sort of army or something, but they ended up getting um, some sort of chip or something in their brain. I don't know what it was specifically detailed, but they were looking at people that were i think poor or in a certain location as i think vampires mm -hmm. i don't know if you remember that oh, one I remember and that they one. were killing them but in reality they weren't vampires they were actually just people that were either poor or, or whatever their the occasion was so it's pretty much like what i'm trying to say is they were brainwashed into thinking all oh, these people are vampires vampires and they were like you know technology they were looking at them as vampires when in reality that was not what's going to happen mm -hmm. that, that was not what was you know true so yeah. what i'm trying to say is in our in our world i guess mm. <laughs> we're looking at stuff whatever they're feeding us you know the purge what about mm. it it's like the purge what about, about the it? movie the purge like the government brainwashing you to think hey go kill these innocent people yeah. because you know to take your anger out but in reality mm. they're also benefiting because they're getting yeah. rid of the that, homeless problem that's a that's a crazy movie because it it opens your eyes to see damn all these people are they are um capable of of committing all these crimes but they just don't do it because it's not human you yeah. know you're you're not gonna well, just go out and kill anybody that's like put, that's like that's like that's that, 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 that that's that, like that, that, getting that, a lion that's in the zoo that was born there mm -hmm. putting them in the wild mm -hmm. they're gonna go back to their animal instinct mm -hmm. go and kill that's, that's what i was we're, gonna we're say gonna like go back to being cavemen like imagine all these people <laughs> that usually have bad days and they always think about like the worst right like, Bro, man, I, if i if i can have that if you know if i was only in front of that person i would say this this and that because they're just so angry but they don't they don't do it because it's something inside us that tells us we need to compose ourselves we need to be good we need to be all this stuff yeah. but imagine if there was one day where people just said let go of all that stuff get away you can get away with everything do whatever you need to do yeah i'll be, raising three, gonna, I'll be raising three kids by myself yeah, <laughs> I can't say how many times I've been standing with a pillow, like just <laughs> damn, damn. <laughs> nah, damn. But um, uh, but yeah, dude, like ah, uh, no, it makes you makes you be scary about what the future holds because that I mean, can happen, bro. Yeah, we, we, that's um, a possibility. It it can happen, bro. It can happen, especially seeing how many people nowadays have has gone out and bought a weapon just for protection yeah. or because who's to say that the government's gonna take our our guns and stuff like that so everybody went out and bought themselves fucking 100 guns and shit you know what i mean it, and, and i, I kind of understand that though like hey mm -hmm. get a gun for your protection your family yeah. mm -hmm. but when you buy 40 guns like, mm -hmm. what are you trying to do now you know yeah. what I mean? that's what i'm trying so to say but much. you never know what can happen that you yeah, might need those 40 but, guns but, you know? but even if something does happen you can't it's like you, you can't you're not gonna win mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can try to fight back, but you're not gonna win. Yeah, I mean, but if the purge happens and you have uh, that's different. A, 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 a civilian, right? Like with a normal civilian with a gun trying to break into your house, you know what I mean? Like you're gonna pull out whatever gun you have all over the house to try to know, protect man. yourself. I don't know. I just like, dude. Like if that happens, I'm for sure gonna be like, I'm, I'm gonna be dead, bro. 
Terribly. Yeah, for sure, bro. Because I mean, one it's one thing owning um, a gun is another thing killing someone or taking somebody's mm-hmm. life, right? But but I mean, if you really think about it, we don't really have anybody that's against us. Do you know what I mean? Like all these mean? people in bro, the purge, everybody they're, they're, hates the United States. No, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying specifically here. Oh, you know, okay. what I'm talking about like because if you go in the purge, they usually are either in the streets just looking to see who they can kill, mm-hmm. or they're going to a destination that they know. Oh, this, this is my ex. I'm gonna go kill her, or I'm gonna go and kill this my neighbors because they were super loud and I can't yeah. do anything about it. You know what I mean? So they they have bro, a they have bro, a whole I'll probably, probably kill myself, bro. I'm, I'm fucking annoying, dude. I annoy myself, so I'll probably just da da da. <laughs> stab myself a few times hey, but you'd be surprised of how many you'd be surprised of how many people that you Low don't even you. know that probably don't like you yeah you know bro, I mean? cause, find cause out. it could have been as easy as in like you <laughs> imagine were, I see I even outside my house yeah <laughs> you're like, life. right <laughs> it, it could be as easy as in like you were in, in high school right yeah. you, were try, you were trying to talk to this one girl that somebody else was trying to get at for a year mm-hmm. and you just so happened that you got that girl and mm-hmm. the guy now hates you yeah, that's and true. whenever the purge happens, the first person that he tries to go and find yeah, is you. That's crazy, bro. That, that, that's insane. True you know colors I mean? come out, huh? Yeah, yeah. Dude, true colors come out. Even if, if it, even if it's the slightest thing, oh, he cut me off that one day. I'm never going to forget that. If you had to pick something of yourself to get hypnotized on, what would you pick? Like mm. Just one small thing, you kind of, you, you know, something that you really want to change. Uh, uh, I think for me, it has to be confidence, bro. Like, 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 it's probably like something that obviously you don't need to get hypnotized. Maybe you can work on it. But I feel like imagine, imagine yourself not caring about anything. Like you guys know that one guy on TikTok, right? What's yeah. His name? Juliano. Curly hair. Juliano low key cute. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. That guy, bro. bro he was, he, not... he was born with literally no shame, no, no shyness, no shyness, no, no nothing. Either, but that's, that's what we see though. Right. Yeah. And you, you don't know what he went through. Yeah, but, but does it doesn't matter. Whatever, yeah, whatever, whatever. What, I'm just saying. But what I'm trying <laughs> to say is, like, you know, when it comes when it comes to uh, somebody just turning on a switch and, and and being able to see, uh, make you be more confident and 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 you know because confidence mm. come you know goes a long way. You know long when it comes way. to every single thing, it opens up so many doors. It, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. It opens up so many when, doors when, when getting ahead. You know what I mean? Because people like you. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Not just that, bro. Because like. Like I, I've, I've gotten to know that whenever it comes to trying to get ahead, you cannot be too nice. Yeah. You, know I mean? you in some way you have to kind of like climb Sabotage. over somebody, um, do wrong by other people. It's just like, not in all cases, but sometimes you do. Yeah. Yeah. And it sucks that we're, I mean, I guess in my case, I'm a little too, um, too nice in certain situations mm-hmm. where, I, where I can see where people might be able to take advantage of. Oh yeah. So I feel like if I were to change anything as far as hypnosis, it will be confidence and just being able to one say no and and go, uh, be a more of a get, yeah. go getter. You know, I'm mm-hmm. kind of I'm kind of like a little bit different to where I can be nice, mm-hmm. but I I have the balls to say, hey, Anelli, yeah. don't do that. That's fucked up. Or hey, mm-hmm. mom, you don't tell me. You know, don't tell me that, mom. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. I'm not too nice to where I kind of have that a little I'm, bit. Too. I'm not too scared to tell you the truth. No, but I don't. I don't think it even stems from being scared or too nice. I think it's one. Like let's say you're. I'm not even talking about a, like you know somebody that you're you're you already know and you're already comfortable. With. I'm talking about like in a situation where let's say let's say you're out and are out and about right. And you're trying to get somebody's attention. That person is ignoring you. And you're like, hey, I'm right here. And that person, anybody will be like, hey, what the hell? You know, and start talking shit and, and no, escalate it. You know what I mean? But I don't, you know, and, yeah. I, and I I think in certain, certain certain situations, it's probably better to just kind of speak up and like, you know. Yeah. One time I was mm-hmm. at, I think I went to Olive Garden. I was there for three hours just waiting for somebody to come get my order. Mm-hmm. I didn't raise my hand. And I'm just waiting. Three hours? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. Yeah, but um, what about you? Uh, for me, uh, I mean, I don't want to co- copy you and say, um, Something. you know, confident, but I, I kind of have like a thing of shutting down my mind and going pretty much like like silent, mm-hmm. and that's a, a big thing that I usually always do. Yeah, with everything, no matter who I'm with, I'm, I don't know if I've done it with you guys before. You did but, it at one time that we went to that family with my my dad. You kind of isolated yourself over there and just shut down. And mm-hmm. I, really? I, I think I texted you say, "Hey, come sit over here," and you never came. Oh, oh, that's true. Yeah, and I was like, man, like I didn't want to like 
point it out and embarrass mm-hmm. you but yeah. i was like man i wonder what, what, what i'm not what sure it's just i mean it's happened i mean it happened like recently too and it's just it's a thing with me is um i wouldn't say there's something really wrong with me or anything but mm-hmm. i just feel like that's something that i lack on because like if if i mean i think i talked about it in a previous podcast too when we were with your friends it was mm-hmm. more like whenever i go out i tend to go with a good mood but mm-hmm. that one little thing that just sets me off and yeah. it will shut my whole brain off yeah. it would make me just go from this to just like uh whatever uh whatever you know yeah and i hate that because yeah it puts the people around me in a bad mood not even in a bad mood but it starts making them believe that i'm feeling a type of way yeah it makes them think that oh it was wrong oh it's wrong and then them telling me that makes me even worse. worse it makes yeah. me be like damn. because they put it out yeah. it's like yeah. it's like whenever you're you're shy and you get red and mm-hmm. somebody's like oh it's not putting the rojo like yeah. you know and it just makes it worse you know yeah what I mean? yeah i hate that shit, but but you know it's funny that you bring that up because i remember um you know me and you we work together right mm-hmm. and there's certain times where you might be going through something i pointed out and you open up a little bit mm-hmm. and and then towards the end of the conversation you were like damn you know it, it's weird how like me just talking about it and me just yeah. like opening up made me feel a little bit better mm-hmm. and, and and he brought up he was like it's kind of like it goes hand in hand with uh just therapy you know what i mean yeah, like therapy. you kind of you kind of like looked at people you look at people that go in, in, and do and seek therapy as in like oh you know you that probably doesn't work you know you, mm-hmm. you should just be able to like you know uh deal with it you know in other words but whatever you do talk to somebody and other people make you realize that what you're going through one might not be as bad as you think or two they might give you advice that actually does really mm-hmm. help you yeah it makes you wonder maybe certain things might come in handy you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. might be good for you for example we we over here talking about hypnosis right what if what if we actually do one day go through something that we might need hypnosis and it does help us out because there it's proven to actually work for some people mm-hmm. you know so it's not all bad yeah, yeah. it does help but I guess it's just shady people out there that would actually like use that advantage to make you believe something that they want to believe. Yeah, yeah but you. that's what anything though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything. You go to a doctor right now and say, hey, you know, I feel cough and then he'll probably mm-hmm. stick his finger up your butt. Like, what? It's lack of yeah. knowledge yeah. when it comes to oh, something like that. Yeah, or you go to the hospital, like you mentioned, right? And you're like, hey, I, I'm dealing with this, this, or that. You know, and, and that person's like, you know what? I think what you have is this. Let's go make some little you know uh studies or tests or whatever and they they make you get an x-ray they make you get a uh mri Stealing much money. other stuff and everything and then it turns out it was just something small get mm-hmm. a paper cut they they, they they could have just like give you a band looked at a little bit better and they would have just like told you to yeah. take these pills taking advantage but now you owe like two three grand yeah you know? yeah i'm not that's, saying that's i'm not saying that that's what they do own. but I, that's what i've experienced and it's like oh shit you know they might um they might just be trying to like you know take advantage as well so mm-hmm. yeah but well, would you say a therapist and a, and a hypnosis person did mm-hmm. i say it right yeah <laughs> right, do you think they go hand in hand do um, you think it's the same thing i don't think so because no. one is pretty much just telling you hey you know you're thinking about it this way this might help but a hypnosis is literally like no no you're doing that you know what yeah, I mean? doing yeah. <laughs> no i mean it's different it's more it's more like um it's more like like let's say let's say you're dealing with some trauma right mm-hmm. and you the the therapist is going to try to try to talk to you so they can know where the root of that problem is okay and by talking about it by opening up because you just don't open to everybody mm-hmm. but if you know that the person that's actually like hearing you out is somebody that you might not ever see again yeah or that doesn't really know who you are you might be more willing to open up mm-hmm. so that person is going to hear you out listen and because he's dealt with a bunch of people that deal with the same thing, he's going to be able to pinpoint, oh, you know what? This is what's going on. You need to be able to, he gives you advice and you take it and it might help. Yeah. Hypnosis is different. Hypnosis is like, let's say I'm dealing with, an, like I said, an addiction. Mm-hmm. There's ways of making your mind think that what you're doing is wrong. Okay. So by the end of that hypnosis treatment, you might think that, that smoking is is really really nasty you might think that you're gonna throw up next time you do it okay i'm not i mean i've never <laughs> done hypnosis maybe we should maybe we should go and yeah. see how it is right and for the um um for the what you just said mm-hmm. that reminds me of david cho 
that when mm. you speak to somebody who you feel like you might never see ever again in your life, mm. yeah. it makes you say something. Like, it makes you feel a different way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, David Cho, he said he would use the hitchhike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he said okay. that um, the last five minutes of him, like, you know you're about to get to your destination. You're never going to see this guy again. Yeah. They start confessing to random, hey, I killed this guy. Because mm-hmm. yeah. you know you're never going to see him again. Mm-hmm. But you as a person, you feel like you probably need to get it out. Mm-hmm. And and maybe like, like therapist type of way. Yeah. Where, hey, what do you think about that? And then he said, yeah. like, no, you're weird. Okay, now and, you have a girl. Now you have like a sort yeah. of, a, okay, yeah, that is weird. Am mm-hmm. I tripping? Or didn't David Shaw actually said a story something about whenever he was hitchhiking yeah that's what somebody picked up. them up and during the ride of where their destination was going to be the guy actually confessed to him saying i was actually going to kill you I think no was there was one like where that. he said that yeah. there was one where he said him and his friend were hitchhiking mm. this guy picked them up says hey you want you want to go to my house and you know you, you can eat take a shower and rest mm-hmm. they're like okay fine they go to his, the guy's house just him they go, they eat, and then they go shower. And then he says that when they were sleeping, no, he kept making, he, they kept having this weird feeling about him, right? They're mm-hmm. like, ah, whatever, let's just go to sleep, wake up, and we'll leave. They went to sleep. He says at night, he felt him standing over him. Yeah. And he was just like scared. And he was like, what was going on? So then they didn't go to sleep. He just left. They go to sleep. And then he says in the morning, um, they saw that he left. So they were trying to hurry up and pack and leave. But when, before they left, he came back in. Mm. He's like, hey, where you going? Where you going? He's like, oh, well, we got to head out. He's like, okay, well, I mean, you, I brought breakfast. You want to at least eat breakfast? He's like, uh, okay, okay, because they didn't want to be rude. And then while they were eating breakfast, they're like, you know what? I, I was actually going to touch you and this and that last night, but, you know, I didn't want to. And then they're like, okay, no, no, no. They just leave. They're yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Dude, it's, yeah, I mean, I, I, remember, I remember whenever I first started hearing about that guy that you brought up. Um, the stories that he he brought, well, the stories that he would say, were like what? Like you, you know, it's just it's a different world that we're, that you're just close minded to, yeah, and you're just blinded to that. Whenever you do go out, you see the most craziest mm-hmm. things out there, bro. And in in stuff, some of the stories that he says is like insane, bro. They're they're just it opens your mind to think like god we we live around these people that 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 probably do these but Mm. you're like you said you're close-minded you never think about this Mm -hmm. you never experience anything all right well i mean that's a good way to end the podcast man you know we touch on a bunch of things today and um all kind of just you know going back to what we started which was hypnosis and i think that was that was a good good podcast yeah it kind of it kind of seemed like we were like all over the place but it was just off like yeah the same topic Mm -hmm. yeah but um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the you know the episode don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with our content and we see you guys the next video peace adios no sería no sería